Growing up, we always dreamed of being behind the camera, hunting whitetails in the Midwest. When dreams become reality with your best buddies, it really is something special. We bring you Brothers Midwest Productions. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. the footage That's absolutely nailed, nailed it. it oh Gosh. big bird down in poison awesome. baby awesome. give me some love man Holy we, we smoke. waited all day for that bird literally about eight hours we waited for him and we heard him off in the distance and the group of i don't know how many were there 10 or so and they're hung up but right when we saw the time they came right in and for sure enough got the job done oh so, man change it to a tom was the right oh i watched him work right to the tom we knew that right away oh, too cool. A boy! Let's go, baby. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, what happened there, Colin? Holy smokes. What, what just happened? He totally, he totally flanked us. Absolutely. Literally came from the only spot that we couldn't both shoot him. Or we couldn't shoot him. He came up from behind us. We thought they were going to be roosted over here. Oh, we were all partying all night. We got up and got it done, baby. We were How many hours of sleep are we on right now? One and, one and a half hours. We got a full 40 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> we stoned him. Oh. Oh, my God. That's exciting. Tags punched in zone three. Hey guys, um, obviously a pretty exciting morning here in New London. Um, we were out late last night having some fun and decided to get up this morning and um, come out here and I guess needless to say we're glad we did. Um, Sam and I both have tags for the second week here and just kind of set up, we didn't have much of a, op we didn't have much many options to set up here this morning so we kind of sit on, we sat on two different trees and just really waited for a bird to either come from his strong side or my strong side and by golly George it worked out we were able to pull this one off the hens they were chirping pretty hard down there this morning with probably three other toms so 
if we get out of here and don't make too much noise this morning, we're probably going to be able to come back here and maybe kill one tomorrow too. So um, super exciting stuff. Gosh, stay tuned. Birds are dropping this year, and it's gonna it should be a fun spring. So stay tuned. I think you just get out of here, let them settle down, and then get back in here tomorrow. So this is basically unbelievable, folks. I mean, Colin shot a bird this morning at about 6.30. We were pretty much stoked with that. We were kind of just gonna wait until the night hunt. So we come back to the cabin and this is about a 40 minute drive from where he shot his bird. And everyone was gonna shower up and do what they had to do. So I went out on the porch and just gave it a crow call. Like, ah, ah. Lo and behold, this thing fired up pretty deep in the woods. <laughs> so I told these guys, I was like, well, let's go try and get out of them. So we hustle down here, get on this field, all we brought was the uh, Tom decoy, and this thing just worked perfectly. It kind of shut up once we got out here, but we figured he was working his way towards us. So he came in and uh, came in perfectly. I mean, he went right at the right at the decoy. Didn't even look at us, but I was confused because he's coming in and he has this like blonde. I mean, he has a few hairs hanging down like a long beard, and then he has that blonde little nub, and I didn't really know what he was. I didn't know if I should hammer him or what the deal was. And, Colin was trying to look at him and figure out what the deal was there. So luckily Alec had his GoPro and we got it on footage. So it'll be coming to you guys shortly, but just a crazy day. I mean, you can basically call it a double up and within about an hour and a half of each other, we both got our birds down. We're tagged out week two here in Wisconsin. Great work, boys. So cool, dude. I cannot believe that one. Reaper decoy. Reaper. He came. We, we had him hammering. We thought he was three, four hundred yards away. Realistic. Well, we thought he was like five hundred yards away. Realistically, he was probably like two, three. We come around this corner. He's out here strutting. The only option was to grab the reaper. I probably moved in about 150, 200 yards, and then he did the rest of the work. But got to about 35, 40 yards out there. Started to get nervous, so I decided to take the shot. It looks like she did the trick. All right, folks, well, this morning didn't start out the way we wanted it. We had a tractor parked where we thought we had birds roosted, and so our hopes were kind of down, and we just decided to set up on this corner here, and we had a, we had a gobble pretty far away. I mean, it had to be up to upwards of 500 yards, and 
we have to work at 7, so we were only going to sit till 6.30 at the absolute latest. So, lo and behold, we let out a crow call. It's been working for us all year, and we hear, hear him gobble, and we figure, why not take the Reaper fan and see where he is and just take a shot. So we come down here, and he's actually at the corner of the field that we have permission on. So I grabbed the fan and started working towards him, and I got to probably about 100 yards, and he started bolting at me, and I just sat there and waited. I mean, it's a pretty crazy story. It's unbelievable that it worked out. Guns are hot here in Wisconsin. We're rolling. Turkeys are falling, baby. Thank you.